of pain Wiggins and of course his dad Mitch Wiggins played in the NBA you have families who have doctors families who have lawyers families who have, families who have judges and we are blessed with the with the athletic ability and our boys are also academically sound but they excel in athletics what was it like for you growing up uh, with your brothers it was just all love in the house all love outside the house uh, all just someone to hang with they were different um andrew was a little bit more soft-spoken a little shy kid whereas nick was more of an extroverted kid you know he was talkative and loud and, and funny and he made jokes they had completely different personalities nick has always been a hyper you know bounce around the house type of kid and Andrew is, you know, Nikki's Andrew's hero. They're just normal everyday kids. They like to play video games. They like to play outside all day. They like to go to the park, hang with their friends, play basketball. Playing sports and track and all that, I was always competitive with my two brothers. Sometimes Andrew come home with a, a bus lip because, you know, he's been trying to be with the big boys. When you're young and you want to show people you can play, you got to take your licks, your hits. And uh, Andrew never backed down. Me, him, my older brother Mitchell, man, it's just, it was very competitive, you know. We always wanted to play, we were always playing basketball. Duffin Clark Community Center, we were there Monday through Friday. We'd try to sneak in there in the morning just to play. They're part of the reason why I'm, I'm successful and why I made it so far playing basketball. The year that your brother is having, how proud are you of him that he's really kind of shining as they're playing well? I'm proud of him. I uh, think he worked so hard to get there. He can finally get an opportunity to show what he's got. And since he got the opportunity, he's, he's showing everybody uh, why he deserves to be in that position. What's it been like for you watching your brother at Kansas? He's proud, man. Very proud older brother, man. He's, it's been his dreams to play college basketball, both of our dreams, ever since we were gay high. So, you know, just trying to follow my dad's footsteps. A father in the NBA, a mother, a silver medalist, you know, a, a son looks like he could be one, two, or three in the draft. I can't imagine what it's like at the dinner table. You know, when, when everybody's swapping stories, you know, I mean, everybody there is a competitor. They heard people say Dad was a pretty good player, but from early on, they always thought they were going to be better. Trying to live up to the big dream, you know, just seeing pictures of my dad on the wall and, and this Houston Rockets jersey, uh, watching old tapes, old DVD tapes, him playing in uh, the NBA playoffs. Their goal always been to be the best player in the Wiggins family. They haven't beat me. I haven't had the chance yet. No. <laughs> and they're not. <laughs> In lane number six, another of the favorites, Marita Payne. She is the Canadian and Commonwealth record holder. Marita Payne of Canada is in lane six. Excellent race by Marita Payne. But they just knew that I had medals, that um, they had, there was a park after me, and there was a, a little street after my name. Gave all the kids motivation to, to be like their, their mother and father. And you know, since they have so much experience, if you had like any questions or any doubts about anything, we always go to them for advice because they've been there, they've done that. And they, they know what, what you need to get done to get to that level. Whenever I feel down or whenever I have any questions, I go to them. We've both been through the ups and downs of the sport. So, you know, they really don't have to leave the house to hear the things they need to hear. For our kids, we want them to be better than we ever were. And so when we speak to encourage them, we tell them that you have to work hard. Just the support, man. Parent support can really bring you through anything, you know? What would it be like for you to play him in the tournament, knowing that it's do or die as a senior, that could possibly be his last game? Well, I wanted to be in the championship game, our, my team versus his team, and so we both got as far as we possibly could. I'd probably be too hype, overhyped. Uh, I'd probably have to calm myself down. Obviously, Kansas would love to watch watch that game, and you know the nation would storm it up so crazy just because we're the top two teams in Kansas. Who's the best team in the state right now? Wichita State. He thinks he'd win. We think I think I'd win. I know that Nikki will put his foot down, and I know that Andrew put his foot down. So hey, um, may the best man win. Andrew got they have the most talented team. If you look at it in college basketball, but Nikki's team is more experienced having went through what they went through last year. What would that be like for your parents, having to watch that? I think that would be a fun time for them, a proud moment. It will be pretty difficult for them. I would want to see what, what shirt they're going to throw on, <laughs> who they're going to root for. Would they be wearing Jayhawk blue? Um, I think they'd probably go neutral. <laughs> I don't know. I'll be excited. 
I probably won't wear a color, but when, when, <laughs> whenever, ever, whenever any team does what, uh, if Andrew's team score, I'm going to say yes. And if Nikki's team score, I'm going to say yes. I think that a lot of Canadians haven't had that experience only for hockey, but not in basketball. To see the crowd that's there cheering on the athletes, that's an experience that every Canadian athlete should, should go through. We just want to big up Canada for just supporting us and supporting the Wiggins family and you know, our kids' dreams and hopes.